Hi there, it's Rob from On Stage Lighting. Welcome to a quick beginner's guide to pixel mapping for stage lighting and performance. In this video, we're going to quickly look at the basics of pixel mapping for performance and for stage lighting purposes. Okay, just to start off with then, um, what we're looking at today is we're just going to look at one of the demo files that come with Magic UPC. Um, so we're just going to load the show up. So go to Setup, Load Show, and the one we're going to find in the demos folder. Um, we're looking at today is the Roby Show, so Roby Demo. What that does is it loads up that particular show, and the handy thing about that show, if we just look in the visualizer, is I don't know if you can see this, but there's it, the visualizer is already set up. It's got some lights and some truss and bits and pieces, and more importantly, it's got an LED array at the back. If I just stick that on for a second, you can see the LED array of RGB pixels um, in a grid format. So that's what we're going to be using to start off with. If we look in the patch itself, uh, we can see that as well as all the generic fixtures and bits and pieces like that, we've also got all these three channel RGB LEDs and they're all patched up on uh, Universe 3. And you can see there's quite a lot of them because the head numbers are running into the thousands. If we want to look at what looks like the output window, you can see here the output window is the actual LED array itself and it's set out in a grid format. Now if I turn off the colours and put the numbers in, you'll see, uh, if I just extend my window out a bit, you'll see all the individual numbers. So there's the names there, which is the LED3 channel, and there's the numbers. So you can see there's all the head numbers there. And obviously normally we'd, watch, we'd look at the grid. But you can see all the numbers have been inserted. So they go along this way horizontally. So they've been inserted one, two, three that way, and then the next line, and then the next line. Now what I've done is I've uh, set up these uh, the visualizers so you can see the LEDs here in an array. Um, if you wanted to just uh, turn them on like a normal group of fixtures, obviously you'd stick them on, you could locate them to open white, uh, you could change the colors of them, you could do stuff like that. You could also apply effects across that uh, series of fixtures as a group, as if it was a normal group of lights. What I've also done so you can see things a bit better is I've turned off the beams on these LEDs on the visualizer so it's just dots and not um, and not actually got uh, smoke and beams showing because it's a bit confusing. But the thing is we're looking at today is pixel mapping. Now this isn't really true pixel mapping at the moment because we've only just selected the fixtures and then maybe we're applying particular colors to it or even we're running effects on it. What we want to do is we want to actually imagine this is actually a bitmap and this is the first pixel of the bitmap and this is the last pixel of the bitmap and apply effects to it. Now in this demo show, a pixmap has already been patched up to this particular um, show file, so all we need to do is to look at it on this file is to go over to the media window um, and we can see some stuff. If you're not familiar with the media window, this is kind of probably a bit weird. Um, but basically what we're going to do, I'll show you how this is going to work out. So I can maybe correct, connect um, my pixel map personality up. I can locate it, which will just give me um, all of its channels set to the locate default position. And then these various um, effects and things here, I can just hit some colors. You can see some basic things like that. A lot of the stuff on this part of the pixel mapper uh, is kind of generated um, various different setups and stuff like that that you can have a bit of a play with. The thing about playing media content across it is actually what we were talking about um, is actually playing videos and showing images on this array itself. So in order to see a demo of that, what we're going to do is going to go up a few pages of the inbuilt uh, media files and maybe fire off um, a bit of uh, bit of content. What you can see we've got here is we've got the Pixmap content which is overlaid over the pink that I, um, that I put on earlier. So you can see how that would work. You can have different looks based on the base color plus the content over the top. If I just clear that away and then fire that up on its own, you should be able to see, just make sure I locate it, find the image, and you can see that video is now playing. So basically what's happening is the image itself is being stored, is stored on the desk, and we're playing it over this series of pixels, quite a low resolution raster of pixels. 
Um, and we can also do other things with that and to manipulate it as well. I hope that's been useful for you. I'll see you again soon.